Welcome to Optical Fiber Communication Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain modes of optical fiber. So basically, there are two modes which is there with optical fiber. One is single mode optical fiber and second is multi-mode optical fiber. So basically, there are two types of modes with optical fiber one is single mode optical fiber and second is multi mode optical fiber now see before i explain the single mode and multi mode optical fiber there is one basic condition which is what we need to check that is v number so first i'll explain v number v number and that v number will justify which mode should be utilized for optical fiber so that i'll explain how it is there with optical fiber and then we will discuss both of these cases single mode optical fiber and multi mode optical fiber so v mode that we can calculate by this formula 2 pi n a into square root of 2 delta divided by lambda where delta is difference in between the refractive index of core and cladding so it is n to minus n1 lambda is wavelength n is mode and a is radius of core so that is how we can calculate v number so this v number that is so essential in single mode and multi mode optical fiber now let us begin this session with first mode that is single mode optical fiber Now see when we talk about single mode optical fiber there is only one mode which is transmitted through optical fiber. So in single mode optical fiber we transmit only one mode through fiber. So all we do is if I say we have we have a fiber here where this is core and this is cladding. So in single mode optical fiber we just pass one signal through it. So only one mode is propagating. In fiber. So in single mode optical fiber. Only one mode. That is propagating. Through the fiber. Now there are few things which we need to focus about in single mode optical fiber. V number. Now see I have told you the basic equation. So that is this 2 pi n a into square root of 2 delta by lambda. So V number that should be less than 2.405. So V number is less than 2.405 in case of single mode optical fiber. Now see when you talk about core diameter. So core diameter for single mode fiber that is very less. Core diameter is very less for single mode 
ऑप्टिकल फाइबर नाउ सी वेन यू हैव सिंगल मोड ऑप्टिकल फाइबर देर इज नो डिस्पर्सन इफेक्ट एज देर इज ऑनली वन मोड सो देर इज नो डिस्पर्सन इफेक्ट नो डिस्पर्सन इफेक्ट एज देर इज ऑनली वन मोड प्रोपोगेटिंग सो देर इज नो डिस्पर्सन इफेक्ट इट्स बैंडविड इज हाई सो हायर बैंडविड and you will be observing that is there in terms of thousands of megahertz so bandwidth is very high it is used for long haul communication so we use single mode optical fiber for long haul communication and when we talk about fabrication so fabrication is difficult and costly for single mode optical fiber fabrication is difficult and costly why it is difficult and costly the reason is its core diameter is very less so as core diameter is very less when we insert signal in core that fabrication is difficult and as its di core diameter is less fabrication becomes costly for small scale integration right so ultimately single mode optical fiber transmits only one mode through the fiber so only one signal is propagating v number that is less than 2.405 so v number that i have already told it is 2 pi n a into square root of 2 delta divided by lambda no dispersion effect as only one mode is propagating along with this optical fiber higher bandwidth long haul communication is the basic application of this and fabrication is difficult and costly now let us discuss multi mode optical fiber now see when you transmit more than one mode through fiber then it will be multi mode optical fiber we transmit more than one mode through fiber so that is what multi mode optical fiber let us try to understand this see let us say this is core and let us say this is cladding so in multi mode optical fiber if we send multiple signal inside like see one second so it should be more than one in short so when you send multiple mode multiple modes propagating inside fiber right so that is what multi mode optical fiber now see when you want to have multi mode optical fiber in that case radius of core that should be more so here there is a need of higher radius so for multi mode optical fiber we need to have higher 
radius of core then only we can empower this multi mode inside of this fiber now let us discuss few more parameters see v number should be higher than is greater than 2.405 so v number that is greater than 2.405 and v number should be calculated by this formula so for multi mode fiber v number is greater than 2.405 for single mode it is less than 2.405 now here core diameter is high core diameter is high and as multiple mode is propagating inside there is higher dispersion higher dispersion as multiple modes are propagating inside and because of higher dispersion bandwidth is low so bandwidth is low you'll be finding bandwidth is there in terms of 50 megahertz so it is having lower bandwidth it is used for short distance communication short distance communication so that is where it is been utilized and fabrication is less difficult and it is less costly fabrication is easy and not costly so this is what about multi mode optical fiber so i hope that you have understood this in single mode optical fiber only one mode is propagating v number should be less than 2.405 core diameter is very less no dispersion effect bandwidth is high for long distance communication we use it and fabrication is costly and difficult for multi mode optical fiber more than one mode is propagating as more than one mode are propagating we need to have higher radius of core and v number is greater than 2.405 dispersion is high as multiple modes are propagating bandwidth is low around 50 megahertz it has been utilized for short distance communication and fabrication is easy and it is not costly so this is how single mode and multi mode fiber fibers are there I hope that you have understood this. You can download all these notes which I am teaching here from my application. Detail is there in description of all videos. Just go through it. You will be finding all notes regarding different subjects of engineering. And you can give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I will place videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.